Grey Box is Luke Walsh. Hello. Um, where have you been this week? What have you been up to? Uh, this week I've been to IoT Tech Expo 2017 in London, which was over two days. And uh, what would you say, what's, what's the, the main focus of this uh, event? Obviously IoT is the, the core focus, but within that there is also uh, wireless communication protocols, predictive maintenance and industrial monitoring. What was your, uh, your top highlight from, from the, the event, or your top three if you can't narrow it down? Sure, so the, the highlight for me was a uh, panel conversation by one of the heads of Team Sky uh, a guy that does data analysis for Barcelona Football Club and another one who does it for Bayern Munich and their insights into uh, analysing their athletes' performance. What, um, what do you think industry can learn from these, these data scientists in the, in the sporting field? How does it relate to what we do in yeah, industry? It's, to be honest, in some ways it drew the best insights, the fact that they were so focused on the goal and so the Team Sky uh, member of staff said that start with the goal and work backwards. There's so many sensors and IoT tech out there today that you could just monitor things for the sake of it, but instead, what are you trying to achieve? Look at that, analyze how to get there and say, okay, which sensors, which data do we need to capture to fill in our knowledge gaps so that we can achieve that goal? And that absolutely applies to business. That sounds, that sounds great. Um, what? Who else uh, did you did you see there that caught your eye? Yeah, so the Laura One Alliance was particularly interesting. Laura is a, a, a wireless communication protocol, and what they emphasised was the need for uh, Internet of Things devices to trade off distance of communication, battery power, and data rate. So you've got these three things. You can only have two out of the three and how LoRa, the communication protocol, tried to achieve a good balance between those three things. Oh, the, um, the, the battery monitoring is, is really interesting. Brainboxes have some customers who use our products for uh, precisely that, for power monitoring. Mm -hmm. how, how do you see things like, um, like batteries and um, and Ethernet structure, how, how do you see these things um, supporting the future of IoT? Yeah. They're sort of essential infrastructure really, aren't they? Absolutely. So, in my opinion, there's only one way uh, battery capacity will go, that will improve dramatically over the next 10 years, mainly due to the automotive industry and the battery powered cars, but those effects will trickle down to the, to the rest of the industry, to mobile phones, to mobile uh, communication platforms and so everything will get an improved battery life and I think five years from now it will be quite normal for our mobile phones to have double the battery life they have today. That will have tremendous implications for IoT applications. You will be able to deploy a device in the field, not have to plug it in, not have to connect it wire, using a wire to anything and it will just start sending data and it will keep sending data for the next three to five years. So, um, what did you come away really excited about? What What are we going to be working on at Brainboxes in the next week as a result of ah. everything you've heard? Well, there are so many areas within IoT that need development. There's no unified communication protocol or platform or device or standard. And so, there are so many areas within the spectrum that need uh, huge improvement over the next year and that will definitely come. Innovation is flourishing within the industry and so as a company we need to keep a close eye on all areas of the stack and we need to focus very, very carefully and in detail on the bit that we are really strong at and that is the hardware and the firmware that lives on that hardware that will enable IoT communication. Thanks. My pleasure.